What's going on YouTube? Game Over 86 coming back with this beautiful day. Beautiful afternoon, guys. This video is just me introducing you guys to some gameplay review footage of Spider-Man and what I think about the game. I did beat the game. Um, I'm waiting on some DLC and I'm going to play that and I'll have some gameplay footage of that. But let's go ahead and get into it, guys. My game review of Spider-Man on PS4 exclusively. So let's dive right into it. Spider-Man, guys. We all love it. And girls. We all love it. Spider-Man takes place in New York City, made by Insomniac Games. This story is nothing like you guys have ever read in a comic book, followed on a cartoon, or watched in the movies. It follows a brand new story. Peter Parker, obviously it's got Mary Jane, obviously it's got Harry Osborn. It's got all the villains. It's got Doc Ock. And it's got all kinds of crazy stuff and good stuff. I'm not going to surprise or ruin or show you guys, but I am going to show you a few of the gadgets and gizmos and gameplay in this footage. You guys are going to see me uh, in a fight. But I'm going to talk about the gameplay as this is going on. Some of the gameplay is um, pretty repetitive, I will say. But as you have, as you playing the side missions and getting into the video, you you kind of build up this love for the city, stopping bank robbers, stopping car jacks, stopping all these j jail breaks, prison breaks, going through rain going through the night, watching the sun come up, jumping off buildings, all that stuff ties in, not only to the main mission, but side missions in general. You get to upgrade gadgets that Spider-Man uses throughout the game. You get to upgrade suits. You get to upgrade so much stuff in this game that made this game really unique, fascinating, and possible for, I think, Insomniac Games that's used to doing their own kind of story or their own gameplay, their own unique way of making a new game. Whether it be Sunset Overdrive, Ratchet and Clank, or Resistance back in PlayStation 3 days. They did a marvelous job, no pun intended. And the way that they did it is they did it in a unique way that they had no limits. Sony allowed them to do whatever they wanted to take their time to make this game possible. This game is by far one of my favorite games of 2018. A lot of people are still saying God of War. I'm actually going to state one thing that may shock some people. I like this game a lot more than God of War. I still love God of War, but this game just touched just all that nostalgia in the right spot, man. It was unique. It was it was like playing old school games but with a new gen graphic feel. And if you guys don't know what I mean or if you guys just now got a PS4 and you guys bought a PS4 for this game, sole purpose to play it. It is going to take about an hour to an hour and a half to two hours to understand all the gameplay buttons, sequencing, where you slow down to shoot your webs, to stick them to the wall, different specials that you get, all the stuff like that. But if you know the Spider-Man franchise like I know most of you do, then it won't be hard to pick up and understand what you're doing in the game. I honestly believe this game should have been um, a lot higher on a lot of people's radar and if and I and we know it was we know it was with the sales but as from a uh, standpoint some people were still leery there were a lot of uh, people out there that thinking oh this game won't be that good and I even talked to some of them people and I told them it's spider-man it's gonna sell great it's gonna be great you can't go wrong with spider-man there's just so many great things you can do in this game that you can't really mess up because it's such a unique game I think the overall story held up great. I'm ready for the DLC. I did 100% it. The game is amazing. The, the only two things that I see that were kind of a kind of a downer in the game was when you jump around in buildings and stuff, it is hard to beat these challenge quests that give you these tokens. I'm still struggling with some of them, and it's all about speed, time, and how you do it. And if you're still, you know, getting caught up on buildings or if you got to fight people in a certain way to get these, it is kind of tricky. It's all about a score rank to get three tokens. You can get two tokens or one token. But I'm still got some of them that I need to do to unlock some suits. That's one thing. The other thing that I kind of thought was a little bummer that may, some people may not talk about is uh, the uh, bosses were very easy. 
to me. The main bosses in the story were not really that hard. A lot of it was uh, the same. You dodge and you throw stuff, attack them, triangle, it give you a triangle um, when it's time to push it. You gotta just dodge right here in this video. You see I'm throwing whatever he's shooting back at me. I can't even think right now, but and it's a lot of it and then you're special with triangle and circle and a lot of that is in the game you've dodging and yes you do die a lot after the first start of the bat because of the 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 learning the mechanics and the with me I'm playing so many different games and doing so much stuff it was hard to jump back and forth especially between the switch Xbox and PC but I got the hang of it and I started just diving right into it really deep and got into this game full blast because I wanted to beat this game I wanted to bring you guys a solid review something that you guys can trust and believe but this game I would pick up this game is a number one um, on the list if it's something that you guys see um, that you want for Christmas or your kids out there that are wanting this game or Black Friday's coming along and you guys want to wait for maybe a bundle or you want to wait for something crazy to happen or you want this is just a friendly gift you guys I'm telling you it's gonna be a big time seller it already is the best selling PS4 exclusive and fastest selling I should say in a uh, in history for them which is good signs that's showing you guys that story driven games are not dead story great story driven games are much alive the gameplay even the loading screens work great as you can see right there I, I'm jumping real quick but I'm trying to get all this information out as I'm talking so I do apologize for that and I'm not the best game reviewer but I'm gonna give you guys my legit honest opinion a lot of these mechanics are cool a lot of them are kinda easy obviously a lot of these games are gonna sell over God of War because God of War is a mature game you got a lot of parents that know spider-man they don't necessarily know Kratos in the God of War story and it any kid can go in and buy a teenage rated T game rated T for teen game and they can't just go in and buy a mature game some places you can but to jump off to that and let me get back to this is the overall fundamentally game sound game I've played this year next to God of War but this is the funnest game I've played God of War was great when it come down mechanics story and everything but overall fun gameplay wise this one's just it it was amazing <laughs> and no pun intended amazing spider-man I enjoyed the game to the fullest and I think whoever buys this game will get their $60 worth. And if you guys want to wait until all the DLC drops, that's fine too. It is worth it. And I'm not a big guy that buys DLCs, but I'll honestly give you my opinion. I am buying the DLCs because I got more. I got $60 worth of my money in the first part of this game. And the game took me about 25 to 30 hours to beat because I did a lot of the side missions to unlock a lot of the stuff. And I had a blast. I thought the game overall... I thought it was going to lack with the DLC them already announcing it before the game. But after I played the game, I wanted that extra. And I understand they're adding some of this in. Some of this they haven't even had finished. So I think there's going to be four DLCs that are coming. There's going to be more suits. There's going to be more missions. And if this game was like any other game out there that didn't catch you and you felt like you wasted 60 bucks and you weren't going to give them, you know, any more money for DLC that's one thing but this game I'm telling you is so awesome I can't praise it enough I can't say enough good things about this game and I hope you guys understand and love and appreciate this game just as much as I did so you guys are probably wanting to know what I rate this game and I know a lot of people may hate me for rating this game so high heck some of you guys will probably hate on me for putting it right in the middle but I'm I'm, I'm telling you right now this game is a 10 out of 10 game and I know a lot of people may give me comments or flack down in the comment section that's fine if you guys are biased or you guys want to play that game that I'm favoring these games if you're gonna sit there and tell me my review of Sea of Thieves or State of the Decay was crappy because you think the game was good that's between you and whatever but if you can tell honestly how much time I've spent into video games and how much truth and honesty I'm really giving you if you honestly think Stay of the Decay and Sea of Thieves is better or I'm being biased, you tell me if I'm the only one being biased, why are the cells speaking the truth? I'm not the only one being biased. I'm being honest. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I hope you guys appreciate me doing this review. And I want to finish a few things with this Spider-Man game. 
and I know I already touched home to it, but I'm going to touch it, um, home to it again at the end. If they ever did an update to where this would be a VR um, adventure, wouldn't that be worth the money there alone? We've all dreamed of being superheroes at one you know one point or another in our lives, whether it be young, whether it be fun dressing up like Comic Con, you know, cosplay, all that stuff that people do and enjoy. This is what this game brought me back to. It brought me back to my childhood. It brought me back to all the days where I spent staying up late on the Super Nintendo or Sega and then the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation 1 and you go on and on and on to the Xbox, PlayStation 2, GameCube. And it just took me back to the special times, not only with Spider-Man, but just that's what games were about was having fun. We can't justify everything we spend on everything to be great and glorious. And I understand most games nowadays are usually cut in half. And, you know, a lot of people may say this game right here, game over 86. This game right here, well, you got to buy DLC. You got, But you know what? The game and the story, $60 alone was so much and so worth it that I don't mind spending the extra money on DLC because it... it, it caught me it, it triggered me if you can spend enough time on a game and invest your time that's why Fortnite does so well that's why a lot of these free-to-play games do so well making money Grand Theft Auto 5 online it's because it catches people it definitely catched me it caught me definitely I thought this game was gonna be great I told a lot of people from day one that this game was gonna be a top seller and I had a lot of flack saying oh you know spider-man's not a big seller and you know who you are and I know when you watch this video you're gonna know who you are and you can leave me down in the comments but you did say that nobody it's spider-man it's not a big game and I told you it would be I've gamed long enough to know that people want their story single-player driven games and it's been long enough since we don't have a spider-man but all in all, I give this game a 10 out of 10, guys. It's insanely great. I think anybody should pick this up day one. If you haven't got a PS4, this this would justify buying a PS4 for this game alone. Not to mention all the other great games that you'll get exclusively to that console. I Insomniac, I've said since day one, my top three game creators of all time. I've, I've enjoyed their games over the years. They've done nothing but great things, and I hope you guys do appreciate this game review. And I know I did ramble a little bit, and I do apologize, but if you're new to this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys follow me um, on Twitter. Leave me a like down below, and if you don't like this video, hit the dislike, but leave me a comment. Let me know what's up, guys. Also, if you want to share this video, do that as well. But right now, guys, I'm going to let you guys finish seeing this little end part, and I'll talk to you in just a second. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I know I rambled a lot and I know I uh, talked, talked and talked and tried to hype up this game and tried to sell it. But you know what? If you enjoy games, you enjoy games. If you enjoy games that aren't fun from everybody else, but you enjoy it, that's what it's about. I think Spider-Man brought a different type of feel on how single player story driven games should be for the future with Marvel Comics. Oh my goodness. I would love to see an Iron Man 2 or an Iron Man, excuse me, and a Spider-Man 2 I heard they're in the develop of making. These are the types of games that people want on PlayStation. Obviously, I'm not being biased. I'm being honest and truthful. This game is awesome. And if you guys haven't got a chance to pick it up, or if you guys are still continuing to play it, like I said, I'm not giving you guys any spoilers. I don't want to ruin that for you guys. And that's not right, and that's not what my channel's about. And if I ever do have something with spoilers on it, guys, I want to let you guys know, honestly, Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I would let you guys know ahead of time before I showed the footage, and I would give you guys time if you didn't want to watch it to not watch it, because that's how I am, and that's how I roll in this YouTube channel. If you guys, like I said, I, I know I repeat myself, and I do apologize, but if you did like the video, guys, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down, but leave me... Leave me comments down below and let me know what I need to possibly do better. I hope this game review was a little bit better. I'm not the best game reviewer, guys, obviously. I haven't done it enough to know, understand everything and to, to be 100%. And if you guys want to share this video, you can too as well. I love you very much. Stay safe, guys. Take care of one another. Do a good deed for somebody out there that needs it. Times are getting tough. Obviously, it's getting fall, holiday season. You know people that may need some food at food shelter. Man drop a can off if you guys can do it if you guys can't i understand and if you guys are going through some hard times i hope everything comes good for you guys i pray for everything to be great for every single one of you guys out there stay safe i love you very much game over 86 we'll see you guys later
Have a wonderful rest of your guys' week. I'll see you back Wednesday, guys. I love you. Stay tuned for the Tomb Raider review. I'm going to be showing that too, guys. Possibly Friday. Peace. <laughs>